What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac sign. We're going to dive in and see what messages come out for you. Let's see. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all having a fabulous Sunday. All right, what's going on? Got the baby here, y'all. Say hey. All right, what's going on with Scorpio? Give me three cards. Occupation. Okay. Two more for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Toilet labor. Okay, Scorpio, what you working on? <laughs> what's going on with Scorpio? And child. Okay. Some of y'all have a new vision or a new business idea that you're working on. Yeah, courthouse. It's going to pay off for you. Whatever work you put into it, it's going to pay off. All right. Marriage, sudden wealth. Yeah. And adjudication. Now, marriage doesn't have to be, you know, like I do. I do. Yes. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> okay. It didn't have to be that. It could just be a business contract. A lot of y'all could be getting into a business contract or you could be partnering up, like getting into a relationship with, relationship with somebody and y'all two could be building a business together. Okay. You could be making the decision on that. All right. Let's see here. Okay, clarify occupation for Scorpio. Uh-oh. Clarify occupation for Scorpio. Hey, mama. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify occupation for Scorpio. Eight of Swords. Okay. And Toil and Labor. The Death Card. Uh, and Child for Scorpio. Two of Cups. Okay, Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of y'all are defending something, standing up for something, fighting against something here, okay? Eight of Swords with the occupation. A lot of y'all are stuck in your head about working on something, collaborating with somebody, putting in some type of work here. This could be a business. This could be a person. This could be, you know, any of that. Um, eight of Swords and occupation. It's, it's about being stuck in your head or trapped in your head about a situation. Maybe y'all could have like a job opportunity coming in. You're not sure if you should choose it or not. Give me one more on this Eight of Swords with Occupation. Seven of Cups. Yeah, a lot of y'all got your options open. You could be thinking about what you're going to invest in, what you're going to go towards here with this Eight of Wands, the Star card, the Sun. Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. A lot of y'all have like a lot of options. Others, others of y'all, this could be like options as far as like dating, who you're going to go towards, who you're going to invest in. Um, okay, sorry, y'all. She fussy today. Um... A lot of y'all have y'all options open. Yeah, four of wands, two of swords. You could be stuck or there could be some sort of fear. Not sure which path to take or which option to choose here for a lot of y'all. Yeah, this could just be different options in a job. Toilet labor with the death card. Yeah, you may be thinking about what you need to end or, or what relationship or connection or job you need to end or release or let go of. This could also be like, okay, should I invest my money into this or should I invest my money into this? You know, to build and to grow. Clarify the death with the toilet labor. The world card. Where do I need to expand? What do I need to... Whoa. Where do I need to expand? What do I need to expand on? This is also like, what do I need to close the cycles out on? Like, is this worth... Is this worth re rebuilding or like giving life to? You know, the high priestess is here listening to your intuition. Uh, is this worth expanding or growing? Or is this going to be successful? Uh, if I try to... You know, because the death card is death and rebirth. If I bring life back into this, is it going to be worth the time, energy, and effort that I put into it? Um, and then we have two of cups with the child card here. So again, this is like seeing something from a different set of eyes here. Having some type of new perception or... Um, this could also be like, you know, meeting a partner or meeting a friend or a lover, you know, and having some type of childlike faith again. What's the two of cups with a child card for Scorpio? Two of cups with a child card for Scorpio. The lovers. Oh, yeah. This is about choice. Four swords. Some of y'all could have been doing some healing. This would be like, you know, should I get back out there in love? Maybe you know, found a partner that you want to invest in that balances you out. Maybe, you you know, helping you learn lessons or y'all learning from each other so that y'all can build and grow together. Knight of Wands. Could be some of y'all could live in a distance. You want to see each other, spend time with each other. The Justice card. The five of wands. It could be some drama and conflict around this situation. Um, some of y'all want to cut out the competition and just, you know, maybe you're deciding on like, should I, should I be with this person or should I be in a high level commitment with this person? You know, should I stop, stop having my options open? Should I invest or should I let go of this job and, and go over here? You know, lovers doesn't have to be love, y'all. It could be, it's, it's the choice card. What's the Eight of Swords with the Seven of Cups and Occupation? 
Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Yeah, cycles clock here. So yeah, you're you're kind of allowing certain cycles to come to a close. You're learning certain lessons. You're closing out certain things that need to be closed out, releasing certain things that need to be released here. It's about progress here. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. There could be somebody that you're missing, somebody that's on your head here. This could be somebody you really want to talk to. You really want to like have some type of happiness and expansion with here. This person makes you feel stable, very grounded, like you know you enjoy each other. You enjoy the time that you have with each other. So some of y'all could be expressing that love, like should I open up and express this to this person? Or what's the death with the world and the toilet labor? Death, world, and toil and labor for Scorpio. Death, world, and toil and labor for Scorpio. Woo! The chaser and seduction here. So, yeah, some of y'all are, like, really trying to transform, or this is somebody trying to transform for you, like, trying to let go of, like, codependency issues, you know, uh, letting go of, like, making you feel like you have to put in all of this work, or this could be you, you know, should I re rebirth this, like, where... Should I put this work back in with this person or like, is it just going to be a chaser runner dynamic again? Like, is there going to be third parties again? Or is this really the ending of this? Like, are we really dating to be dating or are we just hooking up? You know, like, what is this here? So this could be going through a lot of y'all could be going through this. Maybe want to close out this type of cycle, like trying to work on yourself to quit having a third party. So yeah, healthy choices at the bottom of the deck. Like, OK, I don't want to have any more third parties. I don't want to. Some of y'all could, you know, maybe y'all not talking to this person, not today, and hammer, or you've cut off certain people here so that there won't be any more third-party interferences as well, because you want to work on something with somebody, you want to build something back with some someone here. What's the two of cups with the lovers and the child card for Scorpio? Photograph. This is somebody you want to make new memories with, or you had good memories with here. Says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. This could be somebody you want to make memories with. Some of y'all may have children with this person or you see yourself having children with this person. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah. Some of y'all, this person may have options. Yeah, but um, they could be attached to somebody, engagement ring and addiction. They could be attached to somebody due to some sort of codependency here. Okay, some of y'all, there could be like the two of cups. It could be, you know, somebody involved. Somebody could have been in a two of cups relationship and then wanting to move, wanting to leave that connection towards another connection, which could be the lovers, you know, twin flame, soulmate energy. Somebody feels like there could be somebody, somebody that's codependent on another person's energy and maybe that's the blockage right there. You know, maybe it's somebody that they have children with. Ugh. Okay, what's this messy-ish going on here? Let's see. Let's pull this truth rising what's the eight of swords seven of cups occupation eight of swords seven of cups occupation eight of swords seven of cups and occupation what is this about for scorpio very disrespectful okay war-minded militant okay so somebody could be stuck in their head because somebody feels like Somebody has their options open and it's very disrespectful to them. This can be somebody that wanted to win at all costs here. You know, they didn't. Oh, yeah, baby. It caused a lot of chaos. Somebody could have been very materialistic, you know, looking at the, the outside, like not really seeing what was within somebody. Just kind of like, oh, the more options, the better. You know, the more opportunities I have, the better. Like, yeah, egotistic person. This is somebody that's in their ego that's like. Well, I can have my cake and eat it too type of energy. And it's somebody sees that as very disrespectful. Somebody feels like, you know, I need to close out that cycle because I don't I don't want to deal with that. Give me one on the eight of swords, seven of cups, occupation. Yeah, setting intentions, overwork, someone is doing way too much. Somebody is now realizing like having the options open and stuff, like it, it's yeah, making amends, resolving a misunderstanding, and then competition. Someone's in competition with you or sees you as competitive. See, this could have caused like some type of competition, some type of competitive competitiveness. This caused a, a very disrespectful energy. Like this is like you with somebody and then you go to the store and then somebody you mess with shows up at the store and you're like, oh, snap. It's about to go down type of energy. That could be that. That could be what's going on there. What's the death, the world, and the total neighbor? Yeah, somebody's wondering like, will I have a second chance with this person? Someone's getting a second chance or somebody wants a second chance with somebody here. Emancipated, liberation from all restrictions. They're trying to like clear out 
everything like the third parties the interferences the temptation somebody's trying to release all that so that they can have a second chance with somebody like somebody sees somebody as you know as somebody that they want it says someone needs to take care of their health like maybe they're trying to be more healthier maybe they're trying to be more in the upright be in alignment yeah forgiveness they're they're trying to show up better like okay look if I show up in this way and show that I'm not going to allow this, I'm not going to allow the disrespect, I'm not going to allow this, I'm not going to allow that, then maybe this person will forgive me. Maybe this person will allow me to have a second chance with them. Maybe this person will allow me back in their energy here if I close out this type of, you know, dynamic. You know, what's the death with the world and the summer labor for Scorpio? Personality disorder, struggling to find self. Yeah, this could be somebody that struggles with who they are. Maybe they want to fit in. This could be like, you know, somebody that hangs around with certain people and they're like, oh, you shouldn't settle down. You should, you know what I'm saying? You should play the field, have your options open or da 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 Or they could be listening to a third party and this is causing disruption and stuff like that. Uh, fancy living. Yeah, someone's used to living the good life. This is someone who's used to like having some type of karmic tie or their options open or like having multiple people, having their, you know, their cake and eating everybody else's too type of energy but somebody is wanting to let that go Ugh, narcissist and smoker black magic someone's doing black magic this is someone who could have been in that narcissistic energy or still is in this narcissistic energy they could be showing up in a different personality you know putting on the show love bombing like oh okay this could be somebody being manipulative you know saying like oh okay let me let me do this so that i can get back in for the second chance Okay, or this could be somebody that was in this energy that's trying to release it, diva, because they found somebody preparing for what's to come. They found somebody that's not going to put up with they, they bullshit. Like, I'm not putting up with this. You're not going to be having me out here looking like a fool. You're not going to have all these third parties and stuff like that and having your your pics and your black books and stuff. You either going to end this and be with me or we just not going to be together because I'm not having it. Like, somebody is laying down the law here. What's the Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the Child card for Scorpio? Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the Child card. They know how to lift your spirit. This is somebody that knows how to lift you up or makes you feel good. This is somebody who can look back at photos, look back at like memories, music, stuff like that, and just smile. You know, like, oh my gosh, this person made me feel really good. Oh my gosh, this person really made me feel like home. This person made me feel happy. Total Eclipse, two souls merging together. Yeah, it's like it, y'all were destined to meet. It's the two of cups of lovers and a child. Inconspicuous, not clearly visible nor attracting attention. This is somebody who's trying to be low-key or is very low-key. They don't like a lot of attention. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sound like somebody I know. They don't like a lot of attention. They kind of low-key. They just like, you know, let's when we together, we together. Let's spend our time together. Ain't no need to be posting it online. There's no need to be telling it, telling the world, like, we together. You know, it's, it's none of that. Like, we just, we could be low, low-key, you know, wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. Planning a secret escape, crazy. Someone's been acting crazy or well. The re one reason why they could be doing this is because somebody could have, like, a crazy ex-lover or like a crazy, you know, ex that they used to be involved with. And so they're trying to get away from that energy to be with you or to come spend time with you here. But it's like they see with this child energy, they see a future. They see opportunities. They're like, oh, my gosh, this person makes me feel so happy. This person makes me feel so good. Like they know how to uplift me. They know how to speak positivity into me. They know how to speak life into me, you know, um, but somebody's trying to get away from like a crazy ex, like a crazy person. Somebody that's like, <laughs> just like, that's going to flip the lid. Like, like, oh, now you with them? Unwanted opinions, people giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. Yeah, it's like, they don't want other people to know that y'all are talking. Lustful vampire sexual drive. This could be because they had their options open and they had multiple people. You know, that they was messing around with sex and stuff like that. So um, it could be one of those situations. Like this could be one of those people that they don't really want to tell everybody because you you may find out like, oh, my God, like this person was messing off with so-and-so and so-and-so, you know. Uh, okay, what's the uh, Eight of Swords with the Seven of Cups? Curious about you? Yeah, this person, they're wondering. 
Oh, this is a y'all. This is a this was a player. This was somebody that played games with you, mind games with you with that Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. They kept you in an illusion. They kept you mentally trapped, mind effed. You know, this is what the, who this person is. This is someone that you might have um, ran a cycle with or ran a few cycles with here that you might have had to go through some healing from. This person kept you confused. You could be showing up very unbothered now, like baby, okay. If I'm not in this confusion, I'm not in this, I'm not partaking in this, leave me be. Okay, I'm unbothered now because I'm not in that. So they could still be like going through this cycle with their options, you know. Maybe they're they're having their pick of the litter, you know what I'm saying? But now they're realizing like, okay, this I want this person. This is who I want. I need to clean my act up. What's the eight of swords, seven of cups occupation? Yeah, they could be feeling lonely without you. You know, this is why they're and you're on their brain here, but see, they're in this low vibrational energy. They're in their head about you. Like, they can't stop thinking about you. They want to come back to you here, but they know they've been very neglectful towards you. Or if some of y'all have children, they've been very neglectful towards you and the kids or the kids and stuff like that. Not taking care of their responsibilities here. But this person has you on their brain. What's the death card, the world, and the toilet labor? Karmic friends in reverse. This person could be ending cycles with frenemies, you know, people that's been around them that... Um, might have disrespected you or disrespected the connection here or that might have like betrayed them in some sort of way. Sorry, y'all, if y'all hear the noise. That's my daughter in the background. My daughter's idol, love, respected, admire, idolizing fan. This is like somebody that's, that has respect for you or some of y'all could be in the limelight or like um, have a lot of attention or get a lot of attention. So this, per this person may not want a lot of people knowing that y'all are together, y'all date or that they're interested in you, travel fed up. Yeah, they, they hate the distance. They don't like that they are distant from you. What's the death card, the world, and the total labor for Scorpio? The death card, low IQ. Yeah, this person could have been in some very low vibrational energy. They may come back and, you know, want to kiss on your butt like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to act like that because they're not sleeping. And when they do sleep, they dream about you. They're, they're in their head about you. They're very nostalgic about you here. Before this third party interference, before all of this drama became involved here. You know, when they got in this low vibrational energy. They're thinking about that. Now, what's the two of cups for lovers and a child for Scorpio? Dust it off. Yeah, some of y'all kind of released this person already. Too busy winning. Some of y'all could have released this person. You moved on. Or this is what they want you to do. They want you to release this past energy and be like, okay, let's come together. You know, let's lift each other up. What's the two of cups with the lovers and the child part for Scorpio? Hustling, making it rain, focus on money, getting it. Like, they could be, maybe you're, you're releasing this and focusing on your money, okay? Marrying for money. They could have given money. They could have got with some somebody or went towards somebody because of money situation or a financial reason, incarcerated and confused, yeah. They could have been in and out with somebody else because of money, and it confused, maybe it made you feel confused. Like, well, if you want to be over there and build with them, then why don't you go over there? Like, why are you over here? Like, maybe you felt like they used you for money, at one point or use you for what they could get out of you at one point like you know what's the point of you coming over here so a lot of y'all can be focused on your money focus on building and growing here and this person wants to come back in but you know i would just be careful you may feel like they're only coming in because of money what's the two of cups with the lovers and the child happiness hater but this person they don't want to see you with nobody else here with this happiness hater and the cyber bully you know they could have people could have been saying stuff about you online here thief and groupie yeah they could be saying that you only wanted them because of money or you were only with them because of money or you might have felt like they, again, they only came towards you because they needed some type of finances or some, some type of help here. That may be how you feel currently. It could have been something that went on online. They could have talked bad about you and stuff like that. So, um, But let's see. Your last message. We're going to end it off with this and I got to go get my daughter. Last message for Scorpio. blame i accept responsibility for my well-being so this person could be taking accountability here and that could be what this change is acceptance yeah i'm learning to accept the, the things that i cannot change it's like they realize the illusions that they created in the past they realize what they did in the past and they're accepting responsibility for it so that they can move forward with you here because they don't want to see you with anybody else with this happiness hater they don't they're, they're looking at you like, oh my gosh, this is my person. This is who I want to be with. And I don't want to see them move on with anybody else. So because of that, I need to fix myself so that I can be with this person. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.